a delivery. They just left it on the front door. I better grab it. Oh, it's heavy. I wonder who could have sent this. To Marcel, Jasmine, Johnny, and Grace. From, oh, it's from Uncle Amazon John. Johnny, Johnny. What's up, Jasmine? Look, Johnny, Uncle Amazon John sent us all a package. Well, for you, me, Grace, and Marcel. He did? Cool. Let's open it. I bet it's something good. Uncle Amazon John sends the best presents. Well, maybe we should wait for Marcel and Grace. It's addressed to them, too. Well, Grace is napping, and Marcel's at work. Come on, let's just open it. We can show them after. Okay, I want to see what it is, too. <laughs> I wonder what it is. And a big shout out to Jen Sartorelli for suggesting this video. Ricardo family, Freakiest Friday! Oh, oh, ah, ah. Don't miss any of our videos! Click the Little Monkey logo to go to our channel page. Click on Videos to watch them all. Subscribe to our channel, it's free! Don't forget to check out our Instagram at little underscore monkey underscore media to leave a comment or suggestion for future videos. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <gasps> what is that? It's pretty cool looking, whatever it is. Check it out, Jasmine. It's amazing. This has got to be the coolest thing Uncle Amazon John has ever sent us. Hey, there's like writing on this. What do you think it means? Let's see. Here you go. Hmm, I don't know. Hey, wait, I think Uncle Amazon John wrote something. Oh yeah, there's a letter. Let's see. Dear Marcel, Jasmine, Johnny, and Grace, I hope you're all doing well, and I sent you a little something because it reminded me of all of you. This amulet is supposed to bring people together. There's a special inscription on it, and this is a translation. Neat, he translated it for us. Awesome, what does it say? Uh, it says, stand up tall and face your fears. Be yourself, or you'll have tears. See others for who they are, for you to appreciate your life thus far. Use the change to see new sights, as all will be back at morning light. What? What does that mean? That didn't make any sense. Not really. But this amulet is pretty cool. It's super cool. Here, let me have a look. Not yet. I'm still looking at it. I just want to see it. No, it's still my turn. You gotta take it out of the box. Well, I got it first. I just want to see it. Jasmine. Oh, Johnny. Jasmine. Get it. I had it first. What? What's going on? Hey, what are you doing? Don't do that. I'm not doing it. Well, I feel weird. What's going on? Ah! <laughs> oh, that was weird. Jasmine. Ja what? Oh, what happened? Oh, I kind of feel like when we go on a roller coaster. You know, the feeling of butterflies in my... What is going on? I'm... I'm you. And... And I'm you. I'm a boy. I'm a girl. Oh, and you didn't put on any deodorant today. Ah, I stink. Hey, that's just my natural smell. What are we gonna do? This is so weird. I know. Is, is that really what my hair looks like from the side? Hey, I look pretty good. <laughs> Johnny, this is serious. How did we switch bodies? Wait, it must have been the amulet and that silly poem. We better tell mom and dad what's going on. No offense, Jasmine, but I don't want to be stuck like you for the rest of my life. What? And you think I want to be you for the rest of my life? No way! Well, there must be instructions on how to turn us back. Stand up tall. Yeah, got that. See others. Okay. Use the change to see new sights as all will be back at morning light. Oh, I hate riddles. What are we going to do, Jasmine? Mom and Dad will think we're crazy. I don't think they'll believe us. Yeah, you're right. They'll probably think we're just playing a game or something. What are we going to do? I know. Marcel. Oh, yeah, good idea. He'll believe us. Come on, let's go hide in your room. I'll grab the amulet, you grab Uncle Amazon John's letter. And then when Marcel gets home, hopefully he can make sense of everything and help turn us back to normal. That sounds like a great plan. Wow, Johnny, your room is really messy today. Doesn't it bother you when it's so cluttered like this? Nah, not really. I know where everything is, sort of. It must be this. We need to figure out how this made us switch bodies. I keep reading Uncle Amazon John's letter and there's nothing in there. I don't get it. Well, maybe we need to recreate what we did. What were we doing? We were fighting over it. That's it. That's what we have to do. Here, pretend to take it. Okay, uh, Jasmine, give it here. Now you try to take it back. No, I want to see it, Johnny. No, I do. Me. No, me. Ugh, it's not working. Oh, oh man. I guess in the meantime, we're just going to have to be each other. Well, that can't be too hard, I guess. No, we're pretty similar in most ways. Yeah, except I am a little bit neater than you. And you're a bit better at riding your bike than me. That's true. All right, I'll be you and you be me. <laughs> okay. What time is Marcel going to be home? I'm bored waiting for him. You can go over here. That's better. Jasmine, stop cleaning my room. Well, it's something to do while we're waiting. Kids, Tex is here. He's coming up. 
Ah, Jasmine, what do we do? What do we do? He's kind of gonna notice that your voice doesn't sound like you and my voice doesn't sound like me. Then what do we do? Um, um, I don't, I don't know. Howdy, Johnny. Hi, Jasmine. I brought you something and I was hoping I could talk to you in, in private. What's the matter, Jasmine? Cat got your tongue, Johnny? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, do you notice anything different about our voices? Uh-uh, you sound as pretty as always, Jasmine. Uh, thanks, just hang on, Tex. Jasmine, our voices must sound the same to him. Yeah, he hears me as me and you as you, if that makes sense. Well, what do we do now? Just go with it, I think I've been waiting for this, so just please be me. Ugh, all right. Are the two of ya okay? What you guys whispering about? Uh, nothing but, um, nothing. Sorry, Tex. We were just in the middle of a conversation before. Yep, that's all. Well, all right then. Here you go, Jasmine. A pretty flower from my pretty girlfriend. I saw it this morning and it made me think of you. That is so sweet, Tex. Take the flower, Jasmine. Be polite. Uh, right. It's great. Thanks. What my sis, what my bro, I mean, what my sister means to say is she loves it. And it was really nice of you to think of her like that. Yeah, it's great. Thanks. Is everything all right? You two seem a little off today. Nope, everything's cool. I mean, everything's great. Well, all right. Uh, Johnny, I know it's your room and all, but would you mind if I had a moment alone with Jasmine? I need to ask her something. Oh, I don't know, Tex. Whatever you need to say to me, you can say in front of my brother. No, it's okay. Um, I'll just go wait in the hall. Remember, be nice. You're supposed to be me, and I like Tex. Okay, I'll be right outside if you need me. Oh. Oh, man. All right. What's up? You, like, want to play or something? Well, not right now. I, I wanted to ask you something. Okay, ask away. Well, you know that the spring dance is coming up soon. Yeah. I was, well, I was kind of hoping that you'd want to be my date. Uh, your date? <laughs> well, uh, unless you don't want to go to the dance with me. Oh no, Tex, Jasmine wants to go to the dance with you. That's all she's been talking about. Isn't that right, Jasmine? Uh, yeah, the dance, sure, that sounds great. Well, all right then, that's fantastic. I I, I can't wait, Jasmine, it, it's gonna be fun. Would, would it be all right if I just gave you a, a little kiss on the cheek? Uh, no kisses. Oh, come on, Jasmine, just a kiss on the cheek, please. <sighs> all right. Well, hot dog, I gotta go, guys, but it was nice seeing ya. Jasmine, I'll talk to you later. Bye, Johnny. I'm happier than a horse with fresh hay. Did you hear that, Johnny? Tex asked me to the dance, and he gave me a kiss on the cheek. You owe me big time. I mean, big. Thanks, Johnny. Ugh, here's your flower. It is really pretty. It is, isn't it? <sighs> Wasn't that just the most romantic thing ever? Ugh, it was about the most disgusting thing ever. He's my best friend. I'm never gonna forget him kissing my cheek. Ugh. Well, he wasn't kissing you, he was kissing me. <laughs> oh, my first kiss. Thanks again, Johnny. <sighs> I finished my nap. Ooh, pity. What this? Ooh, me like. <gasps> Grace, don't touch that. Yeah, put it down. Uh Mine now. <laughs> Grace, no! You don't know what that does. Bring it back. <laughs> they never catch me. Hey, Grace, what you got there? It's pretty. Jazz Jazz and John John had. My turn. Grace, don't. Give it back. Yeah, Grace, you don't know what you're messing with. Quick, Marcel, take it away from her. What's the big deal, guys? It's from Uncle Amazon John. Oh, well, it does look pretty fancy. Can I take a look at it, Grace? No. It's mine. My turn. I just want to see it, Grace. Uh-uh. Me. Me. Come on. Listen to your big brother. Uh-oh. Oh, what's that? Hey, what's going on? I think I know what's going to happen next. Are you guys okay? Oh, my head. Hey, what? why are you guys so tall? Did I shrink? What happened? <laughs> Marcel. <laughs> what? J Johnny? Jasmine, why does your voice sound like Johnny's? Because it is Johnny. J Jasmine? What's going on? You guys didn't sound like that a minute ago. How did this happen? It's the amulet that Uncle Amazon John sent us. It's magic. Yep. It makes people switch bodies. I didn't switch bodies. I just got shorter. You sure about that? You better turn around. What? What? That's my body. <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, what doing? Oh, head hurt. Ow, leg hurt too. Oh, me so tall? <gasps> what? That, that me? Who that? Grace, try to be calm. We somehow switched bodies. I'm in your body and you're in my body. <gasps> Neat. <laughs> me so big. 
big, me like grown up. Oh, Grace have so much fun with this. I strong. Look what me do. Me pick up John John. <laughs> me not even tired. Grace, put me down. <gasps> Jazz Jazz? Yeah, it's me, Jasmine. Sorry. Oh, my leg hurt now. Yeah, my leg. Sit down, Grace, before you hurt it even more. Okay, sorry, Marcel. This is crazy. Yeah, we thought that too. We were waiting for you to get home. There's an inscription on the amulet, and Uncle Amazon John sent a letter with the translation, but it didn't make any sense to us. Well, what did it say? Something about change and lights, and I can't really remember all of it, but we have it in Johnny's bedroom. Well, we should probably go see what it says. Hey, guys. Mom, oh, thank goodness you're here. Mom, Uncle Amazon John sent us an amulet, and it made us switch our bodies. Oh, Grace, that's such an act of imagination you've got there. Okay, guys, if that's what you're playing, I hope you have fun, but just remember, Grace, it's going to be bedtime soon. What? No, Mom, it, I'm not Grace. I'm Marcel. I'm Marcel. What happened? She doesn't hear your voice. She hears Grace's. Yeah, the same thing happened with Tex. He didn't hear any difference. I think we can hear each other how we normally sound because, well, we've been switched by the amulet. Yeah, you sound like you, Marcel. Me sound like me. This is fun. <laughs> me like pretending crutch is wand. Abra, cadabra. <laughs> Grace, not now. Just sit there while we figure this out. No, you not tell me what to do no more. Me no little, me big. No one tell big people what to do. Bye bye. Me go play. No, wait, Grace, we should stick together. Grace, come back. It's okay, let her go. If you can figure out what the translation means, then maybe we can figure out how to put us all back to normal. All right, let's go. Wait, what's that smell? Marcel? Um, I, I might need a fresh diaper first. <laughs> Did you poop in your diaper? <laughs> it's not my fault. I couldn't hold it. It just it just sort of happened. Now, which one of you is going to change my diaper? Not it. No way. You're changing your own diaper. Oh, all right. I'll meet you in your room, Johnny. <laughs> this is the best day ever. Yeah, well, as long as we can get back to normal. I don't want us to stay like this forever. Nope, not me. All right, now that I've got a clean diaper, what does the translation say? Okay, hang on. It says, stand up tall and face your fears. Be prepared or you'll have tears. Hmm, sounds like it's telling you that we need to be ourselves, our true selves, and we have to be true to ourselves. All right, what's next? See others for who they are, for you to appreciate your life thus far. Well, that sounds like we need to appreciate one another and understand that everybody's life is different and we should appreciate the lives that we have because they're the only lives that we have and we can only like ourselves. Okay, here's the last bit. Use the change to see new sights as all will be back at morning light. Oh, well, that's the easiest part. We should go back to normal by tomorrow morning. First light tomorrow morning. Oh, well, now that you say it like that, that makes more sense. So we'll just go back to ourselves in the morning? That's what it sounds like to me. Yippee! Then I can really say thank you to Tex for asking me to the dance and for my beautiful flower. Yeah, and I can go back to just being me. So it looks like we just have to be each other for tonight. All right, I got some things to do. I'll see you guys later. Oh man, am I happy about that? Yeah, me too. See, I knew Marcel would be able to help us. He's so smart. Oh my goodness, Johnny, your room is a mess. I thought I asked you to tidy up today. I did, Mom. No, not you, Jasmine, honey. Your room's very neat and tidy, like it usually is. I was talking to you, Johnny. Oh, right, me. Um, sorry, Mom. I'll try to be tidier. It would be nice if you were. I get tired of telling you to keep tidying up your room all the time. Sometimes it'd be nice if you would just do it on your own. And I'm sure your room feels a lot better when it's cleaner. It does. Makes it easier to find things, too. Well, maybe Johnny likes his room this way, Mom. You like your room like a mess, Johnny? Remember last week when you couldn't find your one toy you were looking for? And then you finally found it under a pile of other toys? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I bet Johnny remembers that. Yeah, I do. Just try to make a little bit more of an effort, honey, okay? Okay, Mom. Oh man, mom's always going on about how I need to tidy up my room. She never does that to you. Well, but that's because I keep my room tidy. Although, sure doesn't feel good when she's upset like that. No. Tell you what, Johnny, how about I help you clean up your room? Really? You do that? Yeah, you were really nice when Tex came over for me, so I'll do something nice for you. Wow, Jasmine, you're the best sister ever. You got that right. <laughs> you're a pretty good brother too. I got the blues, the baby blues. My little baby hands can barely reach the strings I need to strum. I got the crazy, wazy baby blues. 
Hey Marcel, that sounded pretty- Grace? Was that you playing the guitar? That was amazing! Her daughter's a genius! She's a prodigy! She knows how to play the guitar! Uh oh. No, no honey, go back to playing what you were playing before! It was amazing! Daddy, I play guitar! Hmm, must have been hearing things. Honey, you shouldn't be playing Marcel's guitar. You know he doesn't like that. Pretty sure Marcel's not gonna mind this time, Dad. Oh, there you are, honey. Oh, goodness. You shouldn't be touching Marcel's guitar. Yeah, I was just telling her that. Okay, come on, honey. It's bedtime. What? But it's so early. I'm not tired. Come on, I'll read you your favorite story. And we can have some cuddle time. Uh, yeah, I think I'm okay, Mom. I don't need any cuddle time. Oh, but you love cuddle time. And so do I. Come on, it's bedtime. Come on, Grace. Bedtime, honey. All right, I guess the sooner I go to bed, the sooner I'll be back to normal anyways. What did she mean by that? Oh, it was a game that they were playing earlier, something about switching bodies or something. Right. Night night, honey. I'll check on you in a bit, okay? I gotta go find Marcel and tell him about the chores he has to do still. <laughs> Poor Marcel. Night, Dad. Come on, honey. Marcel, what are you doing? Oh, me tired, Mama. Me come to bed, but bed too small. Not comfy anymore. Me love bed. Well, of course the bed's not gonna fit you, Marcel. It's Grace's bed. You're way too big for that one. But, but, my bed. Yeah, your bed's in your room. What's going on? Are you, are you feeling okay? Ha ha ha. Good game, Marcel. I think game over, though. You should go to your bed. Oh, right. That's switching thing you guys were playing before. Yeah, no more playing the game, Marcel. It's nice that you're playing with your siblings, though. Your father is looking for you. You have your chores to do tonight? What? Me no have chores. Uh-huh, yeah, you do. Yeah, you're older now, so you have more responsibilities. Me thought being big would be fun, but big people get told what to do just like little kids. Yeah, we all have responsibilities, honey. Oh, I miss being me. Okay, no more distractions. Come on, Grace, honey. Let's sit and snuggle. Ah, uh, okay. See, isn't this nice having little snuggles before bed? Ah, <sighs> it is kind of relaxing. I kind of miss this. <laughs> from last night? You missed it from then? Yeah, uh, from last night. I mean, sometimes it feels like I don't really get to see you one-on-one -on -one that much anymore, Mom, because I'm older. Oh, yeah, that does happen. I know what that's like. You know, your big sister Becky's married and has her own kids. Marcel's a teenager and he doesn't really want to hang out with me or your father too much anymore. I used to snuggle a lot with him. I do miss those days. And then Johnny and Jasmine are older too. So I gotta get my snuggles in while I can because I know one day you're gonna be bigger and life gets a little busy too. I love you, Mom. I love you too, honey. Okay, time for bed. Okay, I am tired now. Wow, snuggling really calms you down. <laughs> Bedtime. Wow, my room is so tidy. Thanks, Jasmine. No problem. Whew, that was a lot. I'm tired. Yeah, me too. Hey, guys. Wow, Johnny, look at your room. I haven't seen it this neat and tidy in a long time. Good job. Thanks, Mom. It feels a lot better, doesn't it? Yeah, I I helped her. I was a good sister. <laughs> you sure were. I just want to let you guys know that it's going to be bedtime soon, okay? Oh, Mom, we're pretty tired. I think we might go to bed early. Yeah, all this cleaning up and everything else took a lot out of us. Oh, do you think it'd be okay if we switched bedrooms tonight? I guess so. Oh, are you guys still playing that switching bodies game? Yeah, that's it. I'm actually Jasmine, and I want to sleep in my bed, which is in my room. Yeah, and I'm Johnny, and I like my mattress better in this room. Yeah, sure, you guys can do that, as long as each of you is okay with that. Yep, I am. Me too. All right, well, good night then. Night, Johnny. I mean, Jasmine. Good night, Jasmine. Good night, Johnny. Hope you guys have a good sleep. Oh, that game's a bit confusing. Okay, well, good night, Johnny. I hope that I get to see your real face tomorrow and I get to see my own face. Yeah, same here. Night. Johnny! Johnny, wake up! It worked! Ugh, huh? It worked? Yeah, I'm me and you're you! All right, I missed myself. Yeah, me too. Jazz Jazz, John John, you guys okay? Morning. Yeah, we're all back to normal. You guys? Yep, back to ourselves. Oh man, I'm so happy to be back. Uh-huh, me too. Dad Dad make me do chores. Chores no fun, me want to play. Yeah, I can finally reach my guitar properly. <laughs> oh, well that's it you guys. We have to remember, no more fighting around the amulet. Wait, where'd you guys leave the amulet? Uh-oh.
Now, what is this? This is pretty interesting. There's some sort of inscription in here. I wonder what it says. Good morning, Rick. Oh, what's that that you have there? Morning, Mom. I don't know. I think it's something John sent. Oh, it is beautiful. There's some sort of inscription on it. Try to make it out. Oh, well, let's see. I might know it. I do know Latin. Well, I don't think it's Latin, Mom. Well, here, honey. Let me have a look. No, it, it's okay, Mom. Well, I'm sure I can figure it out. John's my twin brother. If he can figure it out, then I can figure it out. Well, dear, I'm his mother. Just let me see it. In, in a second, Mom. Hang on. Now, honey. Mom, I'm a grown man. Oh, I know, honey, you are. But sometimes a grown man still needs his mom. Mom. Oh, what's going on? Hey, what's happening? Ah! <laughs> What happened? Oh, oh goodness, it's so hot in here. I need to cool down. Oh, oh my head. What was that? Mom? Mom? Ooh, got a chill. Ooh, why is it so cold in here? Why are my legs so tanned? Am I in my mom's body? Ah, I'm my mom! What is going on? Good morning, Judy, my dear. You look lovely this morning as usual. Uh, hey, George. How about a good morning kiss? What? A kiss? No. Stay. Stay back, George. Uh, I don't want a kiss. Not today. Oh, come now, Judy, my dear. You always give me a morning kiss. I haven't gotten mine yet. And you look so lovely. No. No. Lucy, help. I don't want to kiss George. Judy, come back. I brushed my teeth. The end. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go bananas for monkey and around. <laughs> click the Little Monkey logo to go to our channel page. Click on videos to watch them all.